السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. رمضان an opportunity to change. Uh, a lot of times we get caught up with bad habits. We get used to evil habits that go against the commandments of Islam. Although we know their uh, evil or bad impact and danger on us, yet when it becomes part of your nature, as long as you've practiced this bad habit, it becomes difficult to get rid of it and we become like imprisoned. We become hostages to these uh, bad and evil practices and habits. Now changing such things is not mission impossible because just as someone got himself accustomed to do something bad or evil, uh, he can train himself to do the opposite and become better. As the Prophet ﷺ said, tolerance is achieved by training yourself to become tolerant. Now, in Ramadan, uh, change is facilitated. Uh, obstacles that prevent one from changing are removed. The devil or devils, they're chained. And when the influence of the devil weakens, uh, the influence or, uh, of our evil low selves also uh, lessens and weakens. And therefore, the attempt of change uh, becomes much facilitated and easier. Allah Azza wa Jal gave incentives, motivations for us to help us uh, achieve this change. And uh, when one works hard to try to fulfill the uh, objective of fasting, perhaps that you attain piety, he works hard on changing himself and thus it becomes facilitated. What are the factors that uh, in Ramadan that help one change or make change a facilitated process? One, uh, building that strong momentum of willpower and determination. So you're commanded to refrain from certain things and do certain things in Ramadan and adhering to that is actually strengthening your willpower and determination and thus when you want to change something with that strong willpower and determination it becomes facilitated the duration of the change or the adherence to the commandments rather helps the change you're you're adhering you're uh, forcing yourself to abide by what allah azza wa jal told you to do and not to do for a 30 day period or 29 which is a long period long enough to get one ready to do any change he wants to do or make any change he wants to make thereafter comprehensiveness see ramadan touches different aspects of of life and therefore that when it happens when one adheres to it in all aspects, his manners, his eating habits, uh, his acts of worship, all of that, these are different aspects of life that touch all the aspects of a person's life. And therefore, this comprehensiveness facilitates the change when one becomes determined to, uh, to change. Uh, again, being in the, within a community that's all changing in that month, their lifestyle changes, makes it easier for you to change. Now, what are the aspects of change that happen during Ramadan? Number one, the relationship between the slave and his Lord. Acts of worship uh, increase, they're continuous, they're, they're not just for a day or two, they're for 30 days, and you do it on daily basis, and you do for diversified acts of worship. All of that strengthens and... Uh, rectifies the relationship between uh, the slave and his Lord and strengthens his relationship with him. Uh, the relationship between one and his own self. Now, 
in order to change in Ramadan or in any, uh, in any uh, other period, one must know what the problems are, what the mistakes are, what the faults are in order to be, uh, to put a plan to change them. And Ramadan is the best period to hold oneself to account where the soul is purer and the heart is submissive to Allah Azza wa and thus uh, the relationship between one and his self improves, becomes positive and the change happens. Another aspect is manners. You see Allah Azza wa did not limit when he legislated the things that nullify the fast or reduce one's reward uh, as a result of fasting. He did not limit it to refraining from food and drink and desires or other nullifiers of the, uh, of the fast. Rather, Allah attached great importance to manners. The, uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, whoever does not give up lying and false talk and acting upon it and being angry with others and uh, acting foolishly, then Allah Azza wa Jal has no need for him to refrain from food and drink. Meaning, food and drink, refraining from food and drink alone is not the objective, is not the spirit of fasting. Rather, you have to change your manners, your conduct, your morals. One of which, as an example given here, uh, ill speech and acting upon ill speech and ill treatment to people, all of these our conduct and manners. Finally, our hearts is an important uh, aspect of change. Uh, change in our heart, and this is with the grace of Allah and His generosity and mercy, uh, is made facilitated in Ramadan. The Prophet wasallam said, during Ramadan, the hearts become safe, from whispers of shaitan and from spite against others. So the heart becomes pure. Uh, the evil in it lessens and is reduced. And with persistence for 30 days and with determination to continue after that for the rest of the year, one can have a blessed, pure heart or as close to purity uh, as possible. I conclude, it's not a wishful thought. It takes effort. It takes sincerity. It takes determination. But it is very doable. Assalamu alaikum.